Hey guys, welcome back to Paige and Jer. I'm Jer, she's Paige. Yeah, that's that's the order. Um, so today we're here in Boston, Boston and we are setting out on an adventure for the Freedom Trail. Freedom Trail. And I said, Jeremy, this would be silly if we didn't vlog all of this. Right. We'll take you guys from the beginning to the end. So we started by um, right outside, stop A is Boston Common which um, is the oldest public park in the United States. It's been around since 1634, which is, it just blows my mind. But right outside, there's an awesome coffee place. And of course, you know me, oh, yes. we had to start with coffee. It's called the Thinking the Cup. The Thinking Cup. I Check got a honey cinnamon oat milk latte. And I just went with, you know, a cold brew coffee. So get um, the coffee and then get yourself into the park. And then check out the park. So we'll, uh, yeah, let's, let's take a look at the park. Here we go. So I can throw this in there, bud. Thank you. Thank you. I'm gonna put this in there, okay? I can't throw my coffee away because of the squirrel's in the trash can and he won't get out. Hey, hey, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, so here we are at the Massachusetts State House. It is the oldest continually running state capitol building and the dome is gilded in 23 karat gold. So this is stop number three on the Freedom Trail right behind us, and it is the Gold Shaw Memorial, which is a memorial all about the, I believe it was the 54th Infantry, which was formed in a civil war, and it was the first volunteer um, like group in the army that was all um, African-American volunteers. So there's this cool memorial behind us, so let's check it out. Fun facts about this church really quick. Number one is it's the first ever Sunday school, which was 1818. And then number two is on July 4th, 1831, the choir sang for the first time in public the song, My Country Tis of Thee. What? It's been here since 1809. So next stop, we are in the Old Granary Burial Ground. This is one of the oldest cemeteries. A lot of people are buried here. Three people who signed the Declaration of Independence, Benjamin Franklin's parents, uh, Mary Goose, who is supposedly credited for being Mother Goose, uh, Paul Revere, um, just, the are coming. just crazy, crazy the history here. What's up guys? So we're at the next stop right behind us here. As you can see, it's called King's Chapel. So it was built in 1668. It was a wooden church that then they put the stone around it. They then took the original wood, disassembled it and the stained glass and sent it to Nova Scotia, where it was repurposed and refinished to build St. John's Anglican Church. Let's check it out. Bucket list item, come to 
Boston and stay at the Parker Omni Parker House Hotel. Stunning. And apparently it's the birthplace of the Boston cream pie. But it's super fancy. Goals. stop we're at the old city hall um, where again bucket list number two about coming to Boston and staying go eat at Ruth Chris's steakhouse inside, inside the, the old, old city, city hall, hall. Awesome. What? hey guys we're here at the old south meeting house so this is the place where in I believe it's 1773 the sons of liberty had their meeting before they uh, went out through some tea in the river. Boston, Boston tea, party. tea Party! So another cool fact, this is the oldest clock in America up on the bell tower. And one of the bells is one of 46 that was made by Paul Revere. So here's a fun fact. You guys see this Chipotle behind us? It didn't used to be a Chipotle. It is one of the oldest standing brick buildings in Boston because Jeremy, tell them what it is. So this used to be a bookstore and it's famous for people like Charles Dickens and Ralph Waldo Emerson. They used to come up on the second floor and have meetings to discuss poetry and politics. And now it's a Chipotle. Awesome. What's up guys? So we are at the Old State House. So this was like the like hub of colonial life in Boston. And right above us is the balcony where in 1776 the Declaration of Independence was read out loud for the first time. And when this happened it caused a mini riot. There's two statues up on top of the building, one's a lion and one's a unicorn. The riot tore them down and burned them in a bomb fire. But then they refurbished the building in the 1800s and put them back up new gilded versions. It's and so this is cool. also the place where the first meeting happened where the revolution was set in place, was like taken off. This was it. Here hey, we are. Hey guys, this is what's known as the Cradle of Liberty. Um, Faneuil Hall, Fen I don't know how to say his name, but he gifted it to us. He was a rich merchant and designed it after a building in London. And this is like known for being the place for the meetings and all the protests that led to the American Revolution. It's being renovated right now. That's a statue of Sam Adams. Pretty cool. Taking a little pit stop at the Quincy Markets. Very cool, lots of restaurants, shops. Very nice, beautiful fall day. All these breweries and taverns from 1773. This is where America learned to drink. So now we have a little detour walking through Little Italy. All of the Italian food, pizza, pasta, cannolis, bakeries, yum.